Hey y'all, I'm gonna do a, uh, this is ES Girl 13. I'm going to do a makeup tutorial on how to do a nice 4th of July look. I've already started by putting my foundation on, my concealer and foundation. All I used was e.l.f. apricot beige, which is just a stick. I like it because I don't have to worry about the liquid all over my fingers. It easily, easily rubs into your, rubs into your, like, skin. It's a lot lighter than my nap. Sorry about that. Let's see on this hand. It's a lot lighter than my natural skin tone, but if I rub in good enough, you can hardly even tell it's there. Like that. And that's only here, 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 and here. And the reason why I do in those areas is I have a lot of acne that goes here sometimes and down here. I have real dark bags under my eyes. It looks like I already have eyeliner on, but I don't. It's just the natural. Alright, so I've done my look, which I did before I did my makeup, and I don't really suggest that. I did it because I'm trying to do my makeup, trying to get everything put on, got my new cute earrings today from Walmart, just cheapy, just $3 earrings, but they're so cute. And then I have my outfit on, which is just kind of all blue and red, um, that's why I went with like a red lip, a red, kind of red in here, a white undershirt, this is red and blue, blue pants, I'm kind of ready to go for 4th of July. But before I go out and have fun with my family, with my familia, Yes, I am using the computer screen for this. This is Elf Pearl Eye Primer, and I'm using the pearl. I have a beige. Hmm. Oh, I have a beige of this. These I love. They actually work. Now, yesterday I had a problem. I think because I do different than I normally do, which is I just dab tiny dots of it and then rub in like so. And I didn't do that yesterday, so I literally felt like my eyelids were sticking to my eyeshadow. Oh. And I'm going to also go ahead and put on the beige, well, the sheer, that's what it is. And this I like because it really blends in. It really blends in if you want like a natural look. It's just a good base for that natural. I did the white before because I'm not doing it all natural. And I am using my fingers. I normally do not use a brush. Only because I don't have many brushes. I'm about to buy a big set whenever I get the money. I was actually going to buy one really, really soon. And that came up and I can't. So, that's really fun. Alright, and then for my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and get out two palettes. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use for my eyes. Um, 
I'm either going to use this, which is a nice blue, and I have a eyeliner. I have kind of an obsession only because it's my fiance's favorite color with blues. You can tell. There's a blue, there's blues here, blue here, blue, <laughs> blue, but I don't wear it. That's the thing. I don't wear these. I'm not naturally that. I am naturally this. Golds, pinks, purples, browns, that type of deal. So bear with me, I'm going to attempt to do kind of a nice look. That's all I'm going to say. So bear with me, I'm going to try to do a classy blue eye. I'm not not, not, not good at doing colors. I do not know even the right color for this. I'm just using my 120 palette. I love this palette. I need a new one. A lot of the stuff's broken out of it. I guess I'll start with a base brown. Do not judge me. But like I said, I'm not good at this. I don't know what's going to be good on me. I'm not a naturally dark. I used to be really dark when I was younger. Until I got stuff. And... I really haven't in the last few years been into that. I've been... Okay, I can't do it like that. I need my fingers. Where is it? Okay, I just lost two colors on this palette. You <sighs> both shattered. And hopefully they weren't ones that I don't really use, so I really don't care. Plus they have a lot of browns. Just would have been nice not to break them. I tend to break a lot of my makeup too, so let me see my white shirt undershirt. And I am doing this live off of my webcam only because I did not want to edit and I'm going to have to mop up the color in a little bit. Oh well, I'll do that later. So I lost browns, okay. <sighs> Nothing else broke really. 
I like kind of did. Okay, so, like I said, I lost two. Um, not very happy about it, but oh well. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just buying a. I'm going pretty cheap. Well, not super, super cheap, but. Okay. Now I lost my eyeshadow brush. Yay! There is. So I know what colors I was using. I guess I'll just take a little bit of everything. And do two different colors or another. That don't look too bad. Like I said, I'm not good at this. I don't know what looks good on me. Um so I'm just trying to go and dab a little bit here, a little bit there, and just do a nice fork with your light look. Now I'm going to switch over to this palette, or this one, and I didn't really buy this, so that's why you really didn't care that I just fell and broke. Um, I've had it for years, so I'm just going to use the blues right here, okay. those three blues, well, those three blues. And then I'm also going to switch over to this. And plus some of these I do have in this palette, so that's why I'm not really too worried. You can see. And I just lost a lip brush. Which I will be using the red out of this just to make this a little bit darker. I don't go very dark on my lips because I am a very, as you can tell, hell person. Lips made on my cheek. And plus, when I was younger, and I would do these types of looks, like with the dark colors, I learned really, really fast. Because I think every girl goes through this where we think we know everything. We think our mothers are liars. We think we kind of forget that our dad hung the moon for us very much. And that's kind of the person that I was when I was younger. I was very not I wasn't very bratty. I was very gothic, though. I was pretty much... And yes, I'm using this one to the glue. I did the white. So red, blue, and white. Um, for my eyes, that way you get hints of both of them. The white isn't very steamy out though so it's not super 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 and then oof that's one reason why I don't use this brush I might use in brushes I normally do I lost a brush yesterday so eyeshadow brush and it's one of my favorites by e.l.f. Um, it's the one I use for all my looks, like, no matter what. Oh, I can't fall off. And yes, I'm not able to tell what side is what, so I keep touching the side of my face. But it's not really a big deal. Okay, right, I'm done with this for now. I'm sorry, you know what? I'm kind of tight. And 
I'm actually getting ready really early in the day. Even though my evening's not going to start till later. And that's something I do a lot. Or I try to do is if... I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. By the way, I don't use this very often. This blue. So, I don't know what it looks like. On me. I bought it. I'm going to take it first. Oh, it's not staying very well. And if you ever watch any of these, if I ever post any, um, I use a lot, a lot of liquids. And the only reason for that is I can control the liquids better than I can a normal. Um, I'm about to not sure why I'm in there. Stuff's not staying very well, so these brushes are on my other one. These are like, I don't know, I'm OCD about my brushes. These are not very good brushes, so it's like, it's just like me wanting to strangle somebody right now. From afar, it looks really good. And it's like the look I want, but I want a little bit more color. And I do always prime. The only reason why I do always prime is because half time the look has to last all day, all night, and stuff. If that makes sense. These are not brushes I like. <laughs> You're gonna hear me saying that a lot because I the brush I had was a very compacted brush, so it was a very it got a lot of stuff and it did not do this. I'm gonna make it better. Plus, I'm doing this without. I was doing this without. Me. No, I'm not but And it doesn't normally blend colors. That's one thing I'm annoyed about right now. I guess I'm scared. Oh, I can my foundation. Scare my language. I talk to myself while I'm doing my makeup. Only because it helps me. Figure out where I want stuff. Um, so I do that a lot. And Alright, and for the bottom, I'm not gonna do the blue eyeliner only because I don't care for liquid eyeliner on the bottom. And plus, with my eyes. I might do a hint of the blue though and try it, but it wasn't working very well on the top lid, so I do not know how this is going to work. I will try it just to show y'all. And this is a look I don't normally do. So you're the first to actually see this look. Um, 
I've kind of done something close to this. Uh-uh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's all over my eyelashes. And as you can see, all it's doing is getting on my eyelashes on the bottom. It would be a cool look if I was going for that look. But I'm not. You know what? I had a way better idea. So it would work probably a little bit more. All this is is a look oh elf um It's an e.l.f. liquid liner right here. And all you do is you pick out eyeshadow. Okay. You dip this little brush in your eyeshadow. And you're just moving around. I normally do not dab it into my eyeshadow just because I'm mostly D about it. And then you just take it like a normal eyeliner, but you have, the only thing that sucks is you have to wash this off after. Yeah, that's working a little bit better. I think I like that better. What do y'all think? You all like? I like. I like it. I don't normally do this, so you have to, have to, have to bear with me. I'm normally very neutral. Actually, one of my exes. Um, is a cross dresser. And he broke the nose to me. And since I've been with my fiance, which I've been with my fiance for three years, and I dated my ex pretty much three years ago before my fiance. And he got a hold of me on Facebook and told me that he was a cross dresser. Which was kind of weird for me. And I told him straight up, I said, this is kind of awkward because we dated. And then we never really, really, really met. But you are my ex. Like this, I I'm being very OCD right <laughs> now. My fiance is saying from home and be a very happy man. Sad blue eyeshadow. His favorite color is this. If I put this on, he will love me for the rest of my life. And I'm sorry if the, I mean like washed out on this side and this side not so much. It's only because I have the window open. Well not open, but the blinds open. I that's made me, made my eye water very much. <gasps> kind of good, so, sorry. And this video is 24 minutes, so I don't even know if it'll post. And that's the final eyeshadow look. And I just do the inner. That's how I was taught by my aunt was to pull this down. 
and to color the inside. And that's all I did. It's not going to take away from the look at all. It's not going to hurt the look at all. Um, it'll actually pop out my eyes, which look greenish gold right now. I did mess up a little bit. But all I do if I mess up is I just redo it. I'm a very, very not well my fiance doesn't say I'm OCD, but I do. And he's kinda of learned in the last few weeks that I am O C D about some stuff. Especially, um, whenever I go ahead and play games, if it's, if I have to take pieces from something else to play a game, I will not play it. I'm very... weird like that. I will not play the game at all. I will not... I just won't... I won't even touch the game. I don't know why. I've always been like that. I used to have board games. I would lose pieces. And I would literally destroy the game because I would never play a game. Normally, I do have Q-tips with me, and I normally, like, clean it up. But I'm using my fingers at the moment, which isn't really working. That's a good OCD on myself. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I fixed it. I'm now happy with my look. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next step, which is I'm going to put on my blush. Then I'll do my, um, I really wish I had it figured out. Put this on my the wash real fast. Wash. Wash. Um, you can tell I'm very distracted, very OCD right now. Um, I'm going to use this one, or I do have some brushes, but I have like a bunch of brushes, or two different brushes. I use one normally all the time and one not so normally. There. And then for this, all I am using is L, and it's the Saint Lucia, um, Saint Lucia, 
and it's just a blush and a bronzer. The thing I like about this blush, I can get on the brush. The thing I like about this blush is that it kind of blends in. a good amount to my face. And I have pink dots and white dots all over my palms. I do use the bronzer out of this only because the bronzer in this is a wonderful kind of brown and it has Ooh, that's a exactly. Okay. Mm, that's good. I wiped off some of my makeup. I'm gonna just move my hair out of the way. I'm letting my hair just fall right now, like into my eyebrow area, only because I like it like that. I love it covering right here. I have a scar on my eyebrow. I'm very OCD about. And actually, there's a funny story with that scar. This one. Right there. Um, it was when I was younger, I was a very... I'd pull everything out. It didn't matter what it was. It didn't matter any of that. I would pull it out. I was a very, not messy, but very have to pull everything out type of kid, I guess you could say. And I'm going to use this one. This is just an elf. It's a good brush. I don't normally use this one. I use me my other one which is a kind of sport brush let me use this one and the only reason why I tend to use my other eyeshadow brush or eyeshadow <laughs> I'm shadow mascara. Keep saying that. I can't. <laughs> um, my other mascara is because of that brush. It is a very good brush. I am in love with this brush. I know you're not supposed to do that, it gets air in there and dries out, but I'm running low weight. I'm not a very person when I run out. I do go very slow on this, so it does take me a while.
And then now I'm going to put this on the side over here. And I'm going to curl. All I do is open my eyes really wide. No, I think I got it. There we go. I just hold it for a few minutes. And that is the final. Um, for me, I'm going to add more. I yeah, sound I sound very OCD right now, but I'm a very I love dark light, but I'm gonna try to. No, that's not work. Um, I'm only doing this because it is 4th of July. Like I said, I normally do not do these looks. Um, excuse my language, but I'm very frustrated. <laughs> Okay, where's my other one? I do not one thing I do not use ever are these. I guess because it's 4th of July and I want to get my hand back. So, I'm going to start. I just normally do not like these applicators. I'd rather use a brush. Um, Only because I feel like it gets too much on there. And then I'm gonna just get this and kind of smear it out a little bit. And then I'll find more right in there. Probably right now. <sighs> it looks very blue right on there, but for me, it's not blue right now. One new 
first. I'm going to just do this in my last one. I'm not going very heavy on it. I'm not going very um straight with it, I guess. I'm just doing the last one. This probably isn't working very well because I got this well back. And now I'm going to add a little bit more color into my lips real fast. And then I will be done. Tend to make a lot of fun faces. Uh. Okay, so I'll break one of these. Yes. I wasn't talking about the mirror either. I was talking about the blushes. Yeah, so I speak a little bit. I do speak a little bit of red. And also, another thing I'm not seeing about is I try to take colors out of the same panel. Of the same product family. This was my look for 4th of July. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not in the OCD. Sometimes I'm very OCD and I will actually do a look and then I will take it off. This look, I am keeping. So have a happy 4th of July. If you want to do my look, you can. Um... The brands I use out of this are Revlon, Wit, um, Elf, LA Color, um, Elf, Elf, almost full, um, Wet n Wild, Revlon, red. Um, the red actually for this lip is a Revlon love that red or love that color. Okay, here it is. I don't know if y'all can Let's see what I'm doing. Love that. Love that red. And it just, it's a very, what I would say, not dark red, which I normally, I used to use dark reds. It looks really dark with the lighting, but if I had more lighting in here, it would be kind of a, how do you know? Um... But this was my look for 4th of July. All I did was I put blue on um, the palette I use is 20, 120 color palette B BH Cosmetics. And I've used this for a lot of my makeup. I don't know how many times I've used the colors out of here. I think we actually use the blues for my prom prom makeup. Um, 
which I did wear a blue dress, so it was just like this, but a lot brighter, I think. I did, I went a little bit darker only because it is 4th of July. Um, I normally don't go this route. This is something new for me going back to. Um, I, you, like I said, I used to wear a lot of colors. Um, my parents actually kind of at one point bought me a palette that had a bunch of eyeshadows. That had a lot of color. And I would, I used it. Mm -mm. <sighs> but this should be a good look for today. If I gain compliments, I will let y'all know. Um, I doubt I will. Probably more diverse than anything. Um, it's your job. <laughs> That's my look. I hope y'all have a happy 4th of July and a safe one too. My neighbor's fire alarm just went off. Uh, I hope y'all have a happy 4th of July and a safe one. Um, I also hope y'all have fun, watch the fireworks, and be with family. Peace out. Have a great 4th of July and happy birthday to my cousin who turned 25 today.